Blanchard. As you look at part of the capacity crowd, and as we've said before, every day they're slow. They set new attendance records. The overall record, of course, uh, will be broken again. It has been ever since we moved here from Forest Hill. Everett Lloyd's mother, on the right hand side of the picture, next to husband John. Martina now lives in Dallas, moved back to Dallas recently. And Chris now plays out of a media island for it. John, ladies. Ladies and gentlemen. Linda Carter, also known as Wonder Ms. Woman. Navratilova won the toss, has elected to serve first. Ready? Martina won the toss and will serve. Play. You take your seats quickly, please. This, Thank you. This should be a beauty. There, no one's going through the other one like whipped cream in this one. I'll tell you that. No, sir. Mm -hmm. The winner to play Tracy Austin. Because of this little gusty, Pat, I think we'll see some errors off balls that seem to be fairly easy, but if the ball's not hit too hard, it'll be blown around. You really have to watch it. It can be tough on smashes, can be tough on a ball like Martina missed there, where the ball that Tracy or that uh, Chris hit was not hit very hard. Love 30. A sloppy start to Martina's game. In the last matches she's played, she's played some fantastic shots, very easy going, very fluent, hitting a lot of winners, but she has made quite a lot of errors, and I think today is going to be the test. She can't afford to make that many errors. There was a tough volley she just made. Got to be 15, a little bit of 40. nerves, too, don't you think, Virginia, at this stage? I think so. I think that uh, she has to be nervous. I think she's very up for the match. Both girls are very up for this match. It looks very crisp. 30, Does she have the best 40. serve, Virginia? Well, she doesn't maybe have the fastest serve, but I think she uses her serve probably better than anybody else. She varies it a lot. Yeah, we'll be back with more of the U.S. Open Tennis Championships after this word from your she local station. The first game. Join Brent Musburger. Pat Summerall with two people who won this championship in years past. Virginia Wade and Tony Freeman. now serving. Martina, Virginia did seem to be a little bit on the nervous side. How long does it take you to get over that? Well, I think that Martina is a very experienced player. I mean, she's played on this main court a lot of times. Maybe she'll be a little more nervous because she hasn't ever won this tournament. And uh, therefore, she isn't quite as at home on it as Chris. I mean, Chris, I think, is more at home on this court than any court. So I think she should probably gear herself up to allow herself to be nervous for about three games, and then, you know, that's long enough. Take another look at this good net coverage by Navratilova. Picked a spot. Good Chris forehand volley as we come back live. Love 40. Chris has a break, but she's down love 40, so Martina trying to get that break back immediately.
tried that drop shot you were talking about off the backhand 15, side. 40. And I think, Pat, again, uh, sometimes the, the drop shot itself isn't meant to win the point outright. It's meant to, to uh, force Chris up to the net. That time it backfired on Martina. Martina really had a lot of pace on it. One off. How much is that wind going to bother him, Virginia? Well, I think it definitely affects the, uh, the net player more than the, the baseline player. But I think that uh, Martina still has to get into the net. Maybe if she's finding that her first volley is more difficult in the wind, then she should just come in as soon as she can. But she shouldn't wait too long. If she lets Chris play her game, then she's immediately giving the advantage oh! to Chris. Lost 15. That was a rather rushed shot. Not a bad year so far, huh? 400,000. 15 off. Service safe. The money in tennis today is just astonishing. That's, that's only prize money, too. That has nothing to do with endorsements or exhibition money. Martina seems to have settled down considerably now. She's going to need to get a lot of first serves, and I think to really do well. If she misses a lot of first serves, it's going to make her pass that much tougher. Oh, no, Martina Navratilova moves out to a 2-1 lead, and the first set of this women's single semifinal. Two she leads two games to one. In the event you might have just joined us, Tracy Austin won the first women's semifinal this afternoon, defeating Barbara Potter. This is Chris Everett Lloyd against Martina Navratilova. To see who plays Tracy Austin. Fifteen love. Now, Pat, just looking at the result to this point, uh, Chris Everett Lloyd has lost 12 games up to this point, not counting this match. Martinez lost 19 games. Tracy lost 17 games. None of them, of course, have lost a set. The thing I'd like you to watch here is that when Martina makes the drop volley, Watch Chris go up and watch where she has that racket right now. She comes forward. Watch her get that racket ready early, and then she's able to pop it back cross court. She could hit any part of the court. 30 love. Oh. Forty love. Pat, that's the kind of shot I think the wind can create problems for Martina when she floats the backhand because if it gets a little gusty, it's, it can be carried out or dropped very short and very easily. It's 40 low. Second serve is always a little harder in the wind than the first serve. You have to give it a little more air over the net and it can balloon. Game Everett Lloyd. Not a very good looking swing on that backhand that time by Martina. She wouldn't be, be happy to, to keep making backhands at that attempt. But she, you see her shaking her head. 
I think the other thing on the double too is that, that Chris knows that Martinez is going to be coming in off her serve, so she's got to try to get deep. Good first serve. Love. 15 love. It's not going to be so tough to smash that offensive lob because it won't be blown around as much. But if she lobs that ball a little bit higher, better chance have to be blown off course. Oh, what a smash that time. Excellent. A tough shot. 30, 15. You see her stretched up. Really had to jump for this one. You see Martina moving forward. She's got a real good angle. They come back to live action. A big serve by Martina. That makes it 40 15. 40 15. Game Martina moves out to a 3-2 lead in set number she one of the U.S. Open Women's Singles Semifinal. Tracy Austin has already won. Navratilova, three games to two over Everett Lloyd. First set action. Take your seats, please. Thank you. Settled into the match quite comfortably now. Chris seems to it'll be a little tentative. She is a reputed slow starter, but she doesn't seem to be really going after those ground strokes yet. I think you'll see her hit it harder and harder. We heard you. Love the game. I thought that uh, Martina is actually playing rather well. She's uh, quite loose, and she's been hitting her overhead pretty well. She's missed one, but uh, that's Chris's strength when Martina's closes in so well at the net. Martina feels confident overhead. That's the classic pattern we'll see during the match. Martina rushing the net. Chris Everett Lloyd trying to answer with the passing shots. Ain't all an answer she did. Chris Everett Lord the crowd doesn't like the call she doesn't either it would have been a sensational love if it had been on the line it was awfully close Bye, both players just waiting for the crowd to quiet down Shot being fairly effective at this stage. 15, 40. Double break point. You see a very good drop shot here. I think Chris should go up the line more. That was not hit with any depth at all. And back live at 15, 40. what you face when you try the drop 30, shot and obviously 40. hit it too deep. Still break point for Martina.
Tina sneaking up like she put the pressure on. Might come in behind the return. Excellent attack off a second serve by that young lady, Martina Navratilova. And then a very quick Navratilova. She needs four games to two. Sunday, great NFL action continues here on CBS with a full lineup of games. Check your local listings for the game and time in your area, starting with the NFL today. Fifteen love. Fifteen love. Navratilova leads four games to two in the first set. And looking very strong. Terrific, great first serves. Now, Tina's second serve can be a little bit short, but her first serve is uh, very tough. Very good first serve. First body as well. Thirty fifty. Just wide. At the moment, Chris is not really going after the return of serve when Martina's coming in. She looks like she's trying to block it and just get it low. I'm not sure if that's going to be the good tactic, whether she ought to try to put more pace on it. She'll go after this one now a little bit more since the second serve. Well, that's an unusual tactic for a left-hander to go to the forehand on a second serve. Super return of serve there. Yes. Probably shouldn't mention it, Pat, but there are no airplanes coming. Mm -hmm. over. That was a helicopter going over, but we don't have the takeoffs out of LaGuardia, which is a pleasure for everyone, particularly the players. It's out. Advantage, not brought over. Well, you saw some pretty good athletic moves there by Martina that hit that high backhand overhead. It was a very tough shot. out to a 5-2 lead in the and first set of the women's single semifinal. Five games to two. Pat Summerall with Virginia Wade and Tony Trabert. U.S. Open tennis highlights tonight at 11.30 Eastern Time, 10.30 Central. Highlights of today's first match, Barbara Potter lost to Tracy Austin and this one too. Chris Everett Lloyd against Martina Navratilova. Pat, you know, I think Chris has got to really start trying to take some command because right now Martina is pushing her around and she's not doing much of anything. And I think Martina is the kind of person that if she gets ahead and feels like she can do it, she'll get better and better as she's playing right now. A uh, front runner. Martina is a front runner. She likes to, she can steamroll you completely. And Chris can be overwhelmed if it happens right from the beginning of a match. Martina's having a good day on that little chip backhand cross court that just stays down very low on Chris's forehand. Good service percentage percentages by both players. You would expect Chris's to be fairly high because she doesn't try to do that much with the first serve. Martina goes after a little bit more, so her, her percentage might drop some if she, you know, if she doesn't continue to serve as well as she's been serving. that very well did I if she doesn't serve as well as she did of course it's going to drop right <laughs> I know I, what you meant well thank you <laughs> hope someone else did Oh, 
That's two forehand errors that Martinez made in a row. In fact, her strength is that cross-court forehand. If, uh, if you get Martina on the run wide, she will just about always go cross-court. We can look for it. If she has a technical weakness, it's her backhand, and uh, Chris will pursue that relentlessly. It's out. Get another board. Virginia, I guess part of the logic of, of Chris's problem playing Martina is if I play her backhand, she can drop shot me. If I play the forehand, she can hurt me with the pace and, and the ability to hit it hard and move it around. And also she comes in better off the backhand than the forehand, and that's where you want to keep her away from the net. So I think Chris, though, can keep the ball deep enough in her backhand. Fine shot. Take another look, you'll see the good roll off the two-hander. Martina has to slide to the middle, really worry about the ball going down the line. She was full. Back to live action, a good serve. That evens it up at 15 all. Martina leads five games, three first set. That point for Martina. Martina's hitting her first serve awfully well. She keeps the momentum going between points as well. It's part of the whole steamroller effect. She just keeps going. You know, so few of the players nowadays take as much, uh, as little time as she does. Oh. First double fault. Typical to say how well she's serving, and then she serves <laughs> double fault. Still set point. Yes. Do an awful lot for Chris's psychology in this match if she could break through here and been down two set points. She's got a break point. Shots like that will get it done. Bad, 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 bad boy. She broke Martina in the first game of this set. First time Martina lost her serve in this tournament. Oh. She just lost it again. Martina Navratilova leads five games to four in the first set of this women's semifinal. Five games to four. That's the situation in the first set. Chris Everett Lloyd will serve from the far end. Martina Navratil over here. Chris had her on the hook, let her off, and he got back on. 15 love. The winner of this meets Tracy Austin tomorrow in the finals, which you'll see right here. Pretty good touch, huh? What an unbelievable shot. Chris is not getting her forehand deep when she's in the rally. She's hitting the ball around the service line. That's letting Martina come in as she pleases, and that can be tough. She's got to try to get more depth, try to keep Martina away from the net or make her approach from a deeper position in the court. Virginia, Chris has a very reliable overhead, doesn't she? 
Yes, she does. In fact, she uh, plays very well from the net altogether. She doesn't have great instinct at the net, but when she has uh, knows where the ball's going, she hits the volley terrifically well. been convinced that that's the only way to play the drop shot is to hit the ball down the line, try to 40, land it deep 50. in the corner. If you go cross court, you pass right in front of the player, your opponent. Either that or if they stay behind the baseline, you can drop it back over the net. Good penetrating forehand by Martina. 40-30. That's part of Chris's dilemma, as I was mentioning earlier. Stay on her forehand. She hit, hurts you with pace. Go on the backhand. She can approach, and she can also hurt you with the drop shot. <laughs> Just wide. Yes. Martina gets even. A little wind at Chris's back. A little tougher to drive that ball with authority and keep it inside that baseline. Maybe that's why she's hitting it a little more shallow. Good first serve. Really hard to tell the direction of the wind. You can see the flags up on top of the stadium, but down on the court, it sort of swirls around. Yeah, it does. See the, the forehand now is very high. Open the court. No way Chris could get back to it. It's a deuce. Advantage, Chris trying to get even at five all in the first set. Defensive lob by Chris Everett Lloyd. Martina misses a smash. A lot of that, I think, Virginia, you could call the wind's responsibility. Well, I think that those lobs which bounce, bounce so high, it's so difficult to make a good smash. This is the stage at which the smashes could yeah. turn, I think. It's 5 all first set. Fifteen loves. It might already have turned when Chris broke back. We'll see. Thirty. Martina led five-two at one time. Now it's five-all. Well, at least I think uh, even if it hasn't done, Chris is already in the match now. Yeah. No, those players are totally immersed. It's so easy to, in Martina's position, to have realized you were 40-15 and served a double fold at 5-3, which is a, a major sin. Now she's... Now this, I think, is an important point for her to play a really solid point. She's 40 love up now. She doesn't want to ever give Chris another second chance. 40-15. Like that. back with more of the U.S. Open Tennis Championships after this word from your local station. She leads six games to five. Sunday. The preceding message was brought to you by the USTA. Chris Everett Lloyd serving love 15. It's five, six in the first set. She is now getting herself in trouble. 
Love 30. Approach shot by Martina. That was an excellent forehand under pressure. Still two more set points for that young lady, Martina Navratilova. Those are the scores between Barbara Potter and Tracy Austin, 6-1, 6-3. And the winner of this will face Tracy Austin tomorrow in the finals. You know, Pat, it might be in my imagination, but I don't think uh, Chris is playing with much confidence. She's, she's just not really attacking the ball at all. She's being pushed around. That last game she played was very tentative. I haven't seen Chris as tentative as that for a long time. Not in this tournament. But I'm sure she knows that this was going to be a really tough match, so she can't be altogether surprised that she's at this uh, score. This Chris, Chris's mother and Chris's husband, obviously a little concerned at this stage, would cause. Forty fifty. Give you a bit of an indication of the athletic ability of Martina. Just stuck her hand out of one hand at that job. Um, it also gave you an indication that Chris was a little peeved with not hitting the ball. I think she just let fly it like that to give herself a little bit of that speed. First serve just hit the top of the net. Martina Navratilova moves out to a one-love lead in the second set after she won the first one 7-5 and looking strong. With Virginia Wade and Tony Trabert, Pat Summerall, all attendance records every day. They set a new record. They're going to break all time total attendance records this year. And this afternoon's Friday afternoon crowd, no exception. How sweet it is for the USTA, their 100th anniversary. Look at 84% of the first serves, 70%. Both excellent percentages on the first serves. I think Chris is panicking a little bit. She's not quite sure what she should try to do because Martina really is uh, all over the place. She's playing extraordinarily well.
was impressed with the way Martina rallied that time. She didn't didn't seem under pressure. She was very calm. She did sort of lurch at the attempt at the passing shot, but if she rallies calm and like that's going to really help her. I think she is capable of running very well, but I think it actually is uh, worth her taking the chance of getting in earlier and losing the point because I think already Chris looks happier having hit a, a few long points, played a few long points. How about that? 108 out of 181 career tournaments been won by Chris Everett Lloyd. She's only lost twice this year. 51 and 2, the record is. It's phenomenal. Struck with some authority. That's too tough. Games are one all. Uh, one all. Second set. Defensive play is the great J. Donald Budge and his oh, wife Lori look on. Talk about the history of tennis. Many feel that he was the best male player of all time. Love 30. What a great lob from Chris. Martina hits that overhead better over her, uh, over her right side, the inside out overhead. She very seldom misses that, but it was a very good overhead lob. It's the second love double fault by Martina. It's love 40. Service return set that one up. Navratilova won the first set 7 5. Everett Lloyd leads 2 1 in the second. One might think you had played the game at one time. I read a lot of books. I'll have to remember that. That's my, <laughs> my weakness. He taught me a lot right there. 2 1 Everett Lloyd. Lova won the first set, 7-5. Played extremely well. by Chris. She barely got to the drop shot. She couldn't do much with it at all, so she tried to float it down the line, at least give herself time right here to get into the net. She'd give herself time to get position. Martina realized that, tried to take it in the air and beat her, and couldn't do it. 15 all. Oh! Just wide. Thank you. 
Ready. From what I've seen of this match, Pat, I'm going to mention again about the wind in that it is behind Martina and, and it carries the ball a little bit more, so it's harder to drive the ball unless you put a little extra top on it and get the good depth. It's sort of risky. Let's see if Martina tries to come in off the return. out. It's awfully close. As you can see, Martina sort of hold her thumb and first finger about an inch or so apart, saying, well, I miss it by an inch. Didn't argue, though. She knew it. Tactic by Chris, trying to slow things down, hit a couple of floaters. says finally I finally made a smash she has a break point uh, that is not over <laughs> darn good forehand by Chris Yes. Approach shot was pretty deep. As quick as Martine is around that net, she had to make a good one. She did. good attacking forehand by Martina. Yes. Deuce. Two one second set. did not make a deep shot, Virginia. Watch this. This ball now is not deep enough. It just barely hit past the service line. Well, that's deceiving. You can't tell it on the replay, but Martina's ball ticked the net, so again, it's break point.
point. Three times, Chris got the lob over Martinez's head. Watch the save here. He managed to get to it. Yes. Oh. That, I'll tell you, if you see a better tennis point than that, write to me, Way That was unbelievable. Can you believe Martina had three loves and Chris had two? So... about how fit these players are. And what a giant point it was. Again, it's a break point for Martina. That was a break point. That terrific point they just played. Let's see if Martina's got enough steam left to come into the net on this one. <laughs> she does. Talk about thread and the needle. That, I think, hit right on the sideline. On the outside of the sideline. Deuce. Chris has hit three very good passing shots down the forehand sideline. Martina maybe has to cover that line a little bit more. Oh, a good shot. Sensational backhand underspin by Martina. You see Chris attack here across court. Looks like she's in pretty good shape. Martina's out of position. No answer by Chris Everett Lloyd. So again, it's break point for Martina. Float it back and buy some time, and Martina knocks off the volley. Brought the crowd to their feet again, Patrick. I'll tell you what, there have been uh, some critical columns in the local newspapers and some critical comments about the women's tennis so far in this championship, but boy, this one will put all that to rest. That whole game was filled with terrific points. The caliber of tennis was very high. Now, to be quite fair, there have been an enormous number of really good women's matches on the outside courts. So it's just the way it goes. You, you get the bad ones inside. Dennis Ralston on the left. John Lloyd. Chris Everett's mother oh. next to him. Dennis has been working with Chris. thoughts. Good. I think Martina thought the serve was not good. Either that or let the mechanical device that they've used that's what she thinks. The mechanical vice that they've used was not working today, so they do have a person calling the let. The let. You can see it on the left at the net there. She did not call a let. That was out. 40, 50. There she is.
two all second set. Another one of those games. Martina won the first set 7-5. That was not that tough a smash. And being of the offensive variety on the lob, it couldn't have been blown around too much. Chris had been going up the line on the return off the forehand. She went cross court and pulled Martina. So again, it's now break point for Chris Everett Lloyd. That's rough, isn't it? I don't know what she got to complain about, regardless of having thought she heard one earlier. That was definitely a let. by Martina. Chris Everett Lloyd two games to two ahead in the second set. Never won in Green Bay? Never won in Green Bay. Well, that'd be something if Bart could keep that alive. He's under pressure up there. We're in the women's semifinals. Chris Everett Lloyd in the far court. Martina Navarro's a little bit here. Oh! As long the winner of this will meet Tracy Austin. Martina won the first set 7-5. Chris Everett Lloyd leads 3-2 in the second. Martina's starting to question some things now. That, to me, is always a sign of some nerves, some jitters. She was not doing that at all in the first set. Cut! 15 all. By the way, Peter Fleming and John McEnroe won the men's doubles crown earlier today by default. McNamara and Gunhart were supposed to be the opponents. Gunhart got sick and they had a default. 30, 15. That's quite a match. Newcomb and Stolle had 7 6 in the fifth set with the champions. They had two five setters in a row, the veterans. Again, Chris not getting much depth on her rallies, letting Martina come in. That time Martina got a real deep approach shot in, and that was all she wrote. Martina was set up, had the whole 40, thing set up. 30. She knew the ball was coming down the line. She is really angry with herself for missing that volley. That would have given her a break point. Chris has got to get that first serve in here. Martina's going to be coming in off those second serves. Navratilova. She's trying to get even at three all in the second set. She's won the first set seven games to five.
Virginia, I, I think from time to time, uh, the, her temper has gotten the best of Martina, but she seems to be very well composed today. I mean, she is really battling, but she seems to be pretty well under control. I don't think she's been distracted at all so far in this match, and uh, a few little things have gone wrong in the last two games. She's had chances and let them slip by. Again, break point. See, Chris is so incredibly tough because she can be sort of being almost beaten at one stage, but she'll hang in and hang in, and the opponent will get a little over-anxious, miss a few, and then lose a little confidence. And then Chris is, Chris is never, ever in trouble, really. Not mentally, anyway. This is a stage, I think, that a few errors are creeping in on both sides because both players are bringing out really the best in each other. They're going for everything, and they might be going for just that tiny little bit too much. That's too much. Games are three all, second set. Number to Lobo won the first, seven five. I was impressed the way Tracy Austin played in winning her semifinal match as Barbara Potter. We play the winner of this. 15 all. Good half volley. Chris did a good job 15. there. Got the ball over Martinez's head. Looked like she's in good shape. Chris thought she was going to pull it back down the line. She went the other way. 30 all. 30 all. Tough smashing that ball in the air when it's been lobbed fairly high. It's going to move around a little bit in this blustery wind. Point for Chris. Martinez hitting into the wind. Most of those balls are players hit from, from Martinez's end. The close end here have stayed in because the wind's in her face. Jordan might get back. So Chris Everett Lloyd moves out to a 4 3 lead in set number two of this women's single semifinal. Three, Martina Navratilova won the first set 7 5. This has really been a sensational match. Navratilova 7 5 in the first. Everett Lloyd leads 4 3 in the second. Chris was broken in her service game the last time, so she's going to try and hang on to this game. Oh, that's a good, good forehand by Martina. On moving on the way in, good depth, good pace. We get a chance, I'd like to show you the footwork of Chris Everett Lord. She is impeccable with the footwork, and she's dancing around that baseline, going from side to side. to lob offensively from that end too because again the wind is behind Martina. She did it perfectly. Love 30. Oh. 
Thank you. We think this is a very crucial game for Chris because she has had early service breaks, both the first set, which she lost, and this set. She gets a break and loses it back. You can't keep doing that and maintain your confidence. Double break point. Shaky second serve. Not easy to get in under these conditions. Good disguise by Chris. Must have been. 30, Martina 40. made no effort. She thought she's going down the line with it. Still break point for Martina. Sort of pursed her lips like saying, man, oh man, I yes. needed that one. She did make a very good right, shot, but she made a very crisp volley. Right back at Martinez. Her advantage. She laid her hand back, kept the wrist firm. That was a giant game, in my estimation, for Chris Everett Lloyd. Who now leads Judy, five games five of three in the second set. Three. Talk about that footwork. Watch how she takes a little step, transfers the weight from the back leg to the front leg, dances, gets set up, weight forward. Now we come back to live action. Thirty-six first serves in for Martina, and she won 21 of those points. Thirty. Love. Second serves, 22 in, only won nine of them. Hardly ever misses by that much. Serve. Everett Lloyd leads five games to four in the second set. Martina Navratilova won the first. Don't forget tonight at 11.30, we'll have the highlights of both of these semifinal matches. Tracy Austin winning the opener over Barbara Potter, 6-1, 6-3. And of course, this match has featured some of the finest action I've ever seen in women's competition. Let's go back upstairs now. That summer, all of Virginia Wade. Thank you, Brent. You look very comfortable down there. I think you'll see Martina trying to come in every time off the second serve this game, trying to get that break back. She 
count. There's Chris, 57 first serves in. She won 30 of those points. Crowd upset. They thought Martinez volley was wide on the sideline, but Chris didn't argue. She did take a quick look. Second serves, 19, won nine of those points. Love 15. First Chris did not say a word about that. She seldom does. Ball on the sideline. Virginia, that's what you were talking about. Chris is not as reluctant to come to the net. She got a short ball and came on in, made a good volley, 15 all. I think she sort of grits her teeth and says to herself that I've got to get into the net, and she does that more. She should. I mean, she's competent up there. That's why. Martina in a little bit of a rush to get up there. She rushed that approach shot. Two of the best in the world. Playing right here in the semifinals. Martina showing Chris that she's going to run around and hit a forehand. Cross court forehand. There you are. Chris is not getting any first serves in this game. That's really making it that much more difficult for her. Martina always going to try to take advantage of the second serve, particularly if it's not a very good second serve. Point for Chris Everett Lloyd. And her mother 40, 30. anxiously watching. Martina hasn't seemed to caught on that Chris is hitting all her passing shots down the line on the forehand. Except that one. Over. Oh. Set point, you stretch out for low backhand volley, catch the tape, you'll see it right here. Yes. Again, a short ball by Chris. This was an excellent shot, look at there. Catches the tape and bounces over. Come back live at Deuce. James are 5-4, second set. point. I think Martina hesitated between making an approach shot and making that little short drop shot. Those service percentages don't really tell the, the whole story. Got to be a tremendous relief for Chris to have won that set. She has not been playing that confidently. Quiet, please. Thank you. Down to a one-set match now. And the winner plays Tracy Austin in the finals tomorrow. Service ace by another one over. Good way to begin it. That's number three for her.
placed perfectly down the line right in the corner. All. all you can do is look. 15 all. That's two in this game and four overall. Beginning set number three by Martina Navratilova. Sets her one all in this women's singles semifinal. That's what's happened so far. 7 5 Navratilova. First set. Pam Shriver on the left and Slew Hester, who really is the man who was the brains behind putting this. Magnificent center together. He got it done. He got it done on time. He, he outsmarted him. Wouldn't let him strike. Also came in on budget. And those are some rare things these days. President Marv Richmond. You gotta call him Tex. He keeps wearing that cowboy hat. Loves that cowboy hat. Virginia, I still don't think that Chris is playing with a whole lot of confidence. I think she's sort of caressing the ball. She's steering it, not really hitting it. She's made some super passing shots, but I, I get the feeling she's just, you know, not comfortable. She isn't dictating the rallies at all. I mean, so often when Chris Everett is on the court, she's totally in control of everything. One has, has the there feeling that Martina really has been in control, and she's missed an awful lot of opportunities, and Chris is just hanging in. Now, I think Chris could really come to top form whenever she w wants to. I mean, maybe as soon as she gets more confidence on her first serve. I think it's easy to miss first serves when your opponent is pressurizing the second serve. It just puts more pressure on you altogether on your own service. Chris got the ball down. Martina didn't want to just pop it up in the air, so tried another tough half volley and tried to drop it over the net and came up a little short. So Chris has the advantage in this game. It's one all. Games are one all. You can see the tremendous concentration on the face of Martina. She has really, really kept it together. She has got it tied down. She really senses she has an excellent chance, and obviously she does. Sets her one all, games her one all. Good sir. Oh! She, she took a fraction longer before she served that uh, ball. I sometimes think that she lets points come and go too fast. And she does move along quickly, but she sometimes, you know, she wins them or loses them rather quickly. That 
behind the back almost worked. Smart play by Chris. You'll see Chris when she gets this short ball. Instead of going one side or the other, she goes straight back at Martina. Now Martina is starting to go to her forehand volley. 15 all. Chris is stepping up a little now. She's backing off. I think she'll step up a little closer on the second serve. Double fault. Four double faults by Martina. Chris stands a little closer to return the second serve. She can get that ball back sooner. Martina can't get the good volleying position. Excellent serve. 30 all. That left-handed serve can really hurt a two-handed right-hander. Break point for Chris. 30, 40. Let's see if Martina tries to swing it wide again. Chris has got a break. She leads two games to one in the third set. Those of you who might have joined us late, Tracy Austin moved into the women's singles final by beating Barbara Potter earlier this afternoon. This one is the other semifinal. Martina Navratilova won the first set 7-5. Chris Everett Lloyd 6-4 in the second, and she leads 2-1 in the third. Six, and the winner will play Tracy Austin tomorrow. We'll have seven hours of tennis coverage from here tomorrow. Chris Sermon with new balls with a service break. It's good. Virginia, that, as you mentioned earlier, has been her favorite shot, the forehand up the line. She's made a bunch of those. Martina just should cover that and give her the one that she hits cross-court. I sort of see the tide swelling in Chris's favor at the moment. I think Martina played a few sloppy points the last game. Unless she, she's got a tighten right up here. 15 all. She wants to stay in the match. Poor forehand by Chris. Not hit with any kind of pace at all and just barely got to the service line. That just invites Martina in. And that's not where she wants Martina coming into the net off the ball that hits on the service line. She's got to get better length. for Martina. Again, she 30, got the short ball. 40. And this time she was looking for the ball coming down the line, anticipated well and made a good volley. 30-40. Chris constantly trying to get that first serve in. She knows Martina's going to come in off the second one most of the time. There, that forehand down the line was again, and Martina was actually looking for it the other way. And he set Chris Everett Lloyd has had an early service break. Didn't help her in the first set, but she managed to hold on. 
to win the second set. She has a break here. Yes. Good first serve by Chris. Martina made a terrific forehand and came in to handle the pretty easy volley. Again, break point. Chris talking to herself, not pleased with the way she's striking the ball at this stage. Chris's ball was a little bit deeper that time. We've got one spectator way up in the stadium that keeps howling out individually, sometimes while the ball's in play, and Martina's responding to that. <laughs> but... I could not hear what was said, but it got the crowd's approval at least. I guess it'd be somebody said, get that guy and throw him out. Something like that. Deuce. <laughs> and Chris's mother pleased with that shot. Martina's not pleased with that shot. Chris has the edge trying to stretch her lead to 3 1 in his final set. <laughs> She's got it. With the forehand cross court, Chris has held serve. She leads three games to one. Martina again waiting for the spectators to keep her holler and throw him out. Bo Blanche, the umpire, said, let's let the players play. Good serve, good volley. Interesting, the contrasting styles. You know Martina's going to be charging all she can behind her own serve. Chris Basie going to stay back. Just long. Oh, that was close. That was very close. 40 love. Games are 1-3. Time is running out. Set a piece. Be back at Flushing Meadow in just a moment. Pat Summerall with Virginia Wade and Tony Travert, women's single semifinal. And those numbers pretty well tell you what kind of match this has been. We'll stay on until it's over. And again, uh, there is some difficulty with a spectator. Way up in the upper deck. And they're waiting. For that to be quieted down. Police went out and went up there and took one youngster out. There is uh, whatever's going on.
little diversion for an excited crowd, but it's not exactly what the players would want at the stage. You take your seats, ladies and gentlemen, please. It would be a shame to spoil this kind of a match. Well, there is the altercation. The guy swung at one of the police officers. That's going to be a final pretty soon. I don't know if that guy in the green shorts is a friend trying to get him out or he's also trying to, you know, uh, tell the guy to be quiet or whatever. If he's a friend, I don't want him as one of mine. Police ought to do something to finalize this thing one way or the other, huh? Presumably the police can remove someone if they're causing a disturbance. Of course. Well, why don't they? I think they're just waiting for things to... See Chris sitting down with a towel wrapped around her shoulders to try to keep warm. Martina twirling the racket down at the other end. Virginia, knowing the both players, uh, which one does this favor, or does it bother one more than the other, or what? Well, I think that Chris probably will handle this better than Martina. I think Martina can't resist getting involved. We better get in touch with Don King and see if he wants to sign that young man. I mean, don't they have handcuffs? Can't they just carry him off? I thought so. They're not. Are they not police? They're not police. No, they're stadium security people. It's a quiet Friday afternoon in New York. So one is leaving. <laughs> yeah, bring back the Jets. Chris and Martina are, are hitting some balls, which I think is wise. It's been quite a delay. They can stay warmed up. You take your seats, ladies and gentlemen, and in please. In case you've forgotten, Martina Navratilova won the first set 7-5. Chris Everett Lloyd came back and won the second 6-4. And Chris Everett Lloyd serving with a service break of 3-2 in the third and final set. Hope we can just concentrate on the tennis from now on. I mentioned earlier those percentages are a little deceiving because Martina tries to hit her first serve harder more frequently. Chris is really spinning it trying to get the first serve in and not try to do so much with it. One down the line. You see Chris already moving cross court. She was there early. Made a good shot up the line with some safety. It's 30 love. Super play by Martina. She was trapped by Chris's shot on the baseline. 40, 50. Watch this now. She spin all the way around backwards. Look at that. Another deep one by Chris. The back line. 
Five at 40-15, first serves a fall. Second double fault by Chris. 40 30. Jane Everett Lloyd. A couple of measured passing shots by Chris Everett Lloyd. Martina's taken some Three, ribbon out of the back of her hair. Obviously, Martina can't afford another service break. She's trailing 2-4. This is a pretty vital game right here. Well, it was from this side last time that she lost her serve, and she really played a rather loose game, which I think really cost her, might have cost her the set. That was at one all. Belated let call. Martina saying it went over by at least a foot. Getting two serves now. Chris nods approval. Play a let, so you play it over. That's a break and away for Martina. Now it's not. In the event we don't have time to corner the players after this match is over, both Chris and Martina will be on the highlight show tonight at 11.30 Eastern Time. That was an excellent volley. A lot of authority on that backhand volley. 15 all. That one was not so excellent. Virginia, would you say that, uh, or which volley would you say is stronger of Martinez? Well, I think that she uh, hits really well off the volleys if they're slightly far away from her body so she can reach for them. She likes to almost lunge at the volley. She gets into a little trouble when she's cramped on the volley or when it's uh, low, which is always the very difficult volley for anybody. Back at 30 all now. But it's sort of a difficult uh, way to play against her that you keep the ball close to her. You know, you sort of... <laughs> everybody tells you to hit the ball away from you, can it? Miss the volley. Boy, that would have been a great point. What a key shot that was. Martina got 40, out of it. 30... 40-30. Yeah. Nice and serving. Yeah, and so in the third and final set, Chris Everett Lloyd leads four games to three. She won the, first, uh, the second 6-4. <laughs> Eastern Time, 11 Central, the women's final. And first off tomorrow will be the match between Vita Scarolitis and John McEnroe, a men's semifinal, then the women's final, and then after that, Borg against Connors. We'll be on for seven hours at least. Boy, you talk about a program for a Saturday. They waited as long as they could to do this. This young man just resisted, so they're bodily taking him out. Chris and Martina said, we're not going to go out and play anymore until this is settled, till we get that guy out of here, so... Most of the crowd looking back up where that disturbance is going on, but... There he goes. 
capacity house, Patrick. As you mentioned, record crowds every day. We salute tournament director Bill Talbert and his committees done a fantastic job as you usual. Your seat, and salute please. that committee that just Thank you. escorted the rowdy out. Why, please? Give, Thank it, you. give him now, a parachute to drop into the world tower. <laughs> Chris Everett has a service break, serving at 4-3 in the final set, trying to get to the finals to play Tracy Austin tomorrow. Martina just rips that forehand. Martina Love knows 15. that Chris is trying to get all her first serves in, so Chris isn't doing a whole lot with the first serve, so she's walking up to take that one even early. I think when Martina's done, she will try play a little more conservatively, but also muscle her way if she can. You'll see her. Another winner by Martina. Love 30. Love 30. Break point for Martina. A reasonable Love approach Harvey. shot. This volley opened up the court. No way Chris could get over to cover the balls. We come back live at Love 40. Fourth straight first serve. Everett has gotten in. Never boy, that's Sensational game by Martina. He breaks serve and gets even at four all final set. She had four winners in that game. She played a fantastic game and in her face she looks much more into it now and as if she's recouped everything. Four all. Good return of a very good serve. Love 50. Wide. 15 all. Pressure time, four all in the final set. number five. Martina served five doubles as well. Chris has not served any aces and she served two double faults. Still break point. This can be a tough second serve. Can Chris will come in? No. <laughs> Just yes. long. Oh, that was close. Wow. Oh, when you think about that shot, what that could mean. Again, it's break point for Chris as her mother applauds. I better jack it, boys. And it's been a good match. Mm -hmm. 
Hughes. Big tournaments are all about, Patrick. And she does. And we'll be back at Flushing Meadow in just a moment. Don't forget tonight at 11.30 Eastern Time, 10.30 along the Central Network, we'll have all the highlights and we will interview the winner of this fantastic match if we have to get off the air before we interview whomever it might be. Now let's go right back up to Pat Summerall. Chris Everett Lloyd to serve. Down 4-5, final set. Super forehand. That set it up right there. This was pretty simple. Notice how Chris closed in to get as close to net as possible so she couldn't miss that volley. 15 love. Chris doesn't like that call. She thought the ball was out over the baseline. So did the crowd. It's 15 all, nevertheless. Right there. You be the judge. It looked right on the line to me. 15 all. So. It's out. 30. You can feel the tension. Time is fast running out for one. Tina had a chance for that first volley. She didn't make a good enough volley. Gave Chris a second chance. Ready, Boy, I'd hate to be staying back having to make all those pressure shots all the time. That is tough. <laughs> and it's match point for Martina Navratilova. Martinez never won this tournament. Chris has won it five times. <laughs> Unbelievable. Martina made a smart play. Came right in as she's yes. been doing. Chris very coolly made the passing shot. One match point saved. Time. Guess she's human after all. Tina Navratilova will play Tracy Austin tomorrow in the women's final. U.S. Open tennis coverage starts here at CBS at 12 noon. For Tony Travert and Virginia Wade, Pat Summerall saying so long from Flushing Meadow.